Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for being here, I appreciate it. And this week we're going to be working on a four color puddle pour with a bit of a swipe. Okay, I'm working on a bit of a smaller canvas this week compared to last on a nine by 12 compared to my 12 by 24 inch last week on my swipe. And first with the titanium white with my smaller puddles, to make sure I've got enough area to make four solid puddles with my white uh, by Artist Loft and Ivory Black, again by Artist Loft, which is my favorite black. I think of all blacks I use, I find it works best for me and the composition I want to pour down on my canvas. Now, one thing I did notice when I was pouring my Ivory Black down was that it was much more thin than my white was. So I had to be careful with how big these puddles were knowing the black would spread a little bit more, as you can see here, um, not quite an equal distribution of the white plus the black, but here we are. So here is our light violet blue. That is a very pretty color. And my idea here this week was to layer my whites and blacks as well with some nice bright colors being blue here as my first base. And we'll move into our next color in a sec here. And I also had a very specific pattern in mind that worked well in my brain, which sometimes could be dangerous, but I wanted to give it a shot. So here is our fluorescent pink, which I really like. It is, again, really quite bright. And I wanted that contrast between the light and dark, but on top of the blue to make a very cool pattern it was my hopes for this pour. Now for this pour, I decided to use my Liquitex paints in comparison to my Artist Loft, which I normally use a week to week. So these paints I find are a bit more thick generally than Artist Lofts are, which is fine. Uh, my paint ratio is about one ounce paint to approximately two to three ounces of medium and about, and just under an ounce of Floetrol. And now with my pattern, I decided to stick with a consistent blue pink, blue pink pattern. I thought about going for a blue pink, blue pink, then pink blue, pink blue in opposite corners because I wanted to try to capture the, uh, the good contrast between the white, titanium white, and also the ivory black. But I decided to stick with the, again, just straight up blue, pink, blue, pink in all four corners, which worked just great. Now in hindsight, looking back on this pour, I had way too much paint on the smaller canvas compared to what I needed. So I think I was, I wound up being around the eight to 10 ounce marker in total paint volume, which was way too much, but we'll see how it works out. And as I wrap up this pour here for the puddles, I actually really enjoyed this pattern. I thought about swiping through them with a stir stick to see what kind of like splash I could get out of the pour, but thought no, I just stick with my initial pattern or my, my initial thought of the swipe technique versus doing a bit of a rect pour instead. And now with my cell activator, I decided to go with my Amsterdam titanium white again, which works very well but I wanted to try to pour it on the canvas instead of using my palette knife to swipe through to see how this worked out because I was curious if paint on the canvas worked equally as well as paint on a palette knife. Okay, here we go with the first attempt at my swipe with only my palette knife on top of the cell activator with the titanium weight, which really didn't go as planned. So I decided to fill my knife with my activator and swipe again, which worked much better. It's what I'm used to. I know it feels best. So I gave it a shot with the titanium white on my knife and just swipe through on each corner, which again looks much better. And again, for me is what I, what I know. Now, as for the swipes themselves, I wasn't incredibly happy with how the cells were turning out. The black looks much better and has more volume and dynamic look to it compared to the white, which I think is where I may have fumbled the ball here because knowing the black has some metallic properties in it does create more cell or lacing effects compared to white. 
and I think that I might have just forgot about that part when I was going to create my pattern in that with the titanium white in the artist loft doesn't again create as much lacing effects in that white paint as the black does. And as I go in for the tilts, I um, just began to kind of go into a bit of a circle because there was a lot of paint on this canvas. Uh, it was incredibly heavy compared to what I was, I guess, getting prepared for, but you no, know, there was way too much paint on it. I knew initially that I would have no chance in keeping any lacing I had drawn out with my swipes, so decided to do what I could with what I had based on knowing I was going to keep much of that lacing I had drawn out initially off the swipe. So I decided to just begin to go in some circle motions and try to get a good blend of the pink and blue with the white and black um, going back and forth again in a circle motion, not wanting to dump too much paint off the initial tilt and just again create a nice contrasting pattern between all four colors. Now although my initial pattern of lacing and the effects there didn't pan out, I wasn't mad at the actual design itself. The colors reminded me of when I was a kid and having you know popsicles and bubblegum as a treat. So you know all things considered this pour didn't turn out all that all that terribly. Um, again I was looking for some lacing and some cool cells which I did get in the end here but um, again I didn't mind the the color combination with the pinks and blues I thought were quite nice. And again, the, the Liquitex acrylics are a very good paint which cause um, some nice results too. Now in terms of this particular pour, what do you guys think? What are your guys' thoughts? I would appreciate any comments below just to give you some feedback on how I did. Um, now again, I began with a bit of a lacing idea in my, in my head which didn't pan out, but ultimately I think it turned out okay. And the, as we kind of wrap up here with the, the tilting, um, I do wind up with some nice lacing in both corners which I found to be quite interesting. Um, the titanium white by Amsterdam works quite well as a cell activator and again although not what I was looking for entirely did turn out quite quite nice so I'm pretty happy with it but again any thoughts below would be appreciated. Now as I finish up this tilt here if you have enjoyed this video please consider clicking that like button to help this video spread to more people who may enjoy it and also to those who may enjoy this kind of content. So um, again, if you have liked this video, click that like button, I would appreciate it. Okay, now as we go in for a bit of a close up and over the top look of the pour, but, my, but there's some lacing I mentioned before that did stick around, which I was happy with. And again, I did wind up with some bubbles here that popped after I torched when I was all done. However, um, ultimately I did enjoy this, this this color combination as a total pour and again not the initial concept but the actual outcome was pretty good. Now if you have enjoyed this video please click this next link here in the top corner for a playlist I really enjoy. Thanks again.